come, she'll be come around now. She'll be come around now when she comes. Howdy, how you doing today? Welcome to my claim. This here is my claim. And you can know that because I put here these pegs and these rags on them. And that's not everybody else. So this here is my claim. Wait, you ain't no claim jumper, are you? Good. That's good to know. Well, my name is Toothless Jed. Because on account that I don't have a tooth, see? Everybody around these parts has nicknames. And I got mine because I found this here rock and I thought it was gold and I took a bite and I broke out my tooth. So now I'm toothless dead. Well, welcome to my clam. I'm just doing a little plaster mining here. Plaster mining is when you use a pan. That's what I'm doing, but some fellas down the way, they got a rocker box or a long tone. Sometimes the miners use hydraulic mining and when they use that, they got this water that sprays all down the side of the mountain. And it just blasts all the dirt away. And then they look and they see if they can find the gold. I, I, I should back up a bit. Let me tell you what happened. In January 24th, 1848, James Marshall found gold at Sutter's Mill. Just laying in the river. So soon word spread. Then people from all over started coming to California. Well, I heard about it. And I figured I'm going to go out and make my wealth in gold. So I decided, how am I going to get to California? There are three ways to get to California. You can go down from the east coast of the United States all the way down to the southern tip of South America. That's called the Cape Horn. And then you come all the way back up and you get to San Francisco and then you can go across to the gold fields. Well, that takes a long time, and people tend to get sick, and I can't swim, so I decided I don't want to do that route. There's another route that also goes by a boat. You can go from the east coast of the United States, and you can go down to the, the Panama, it's Miss of Panama, and you cut through. And that's a little bit shorter, but then once you get there, you gotta wait for another ship. And that one will take you from Panama all the way to San Francisco. And sometimes you got to wait like a few weeks or a few months. And again, you're on the water and I can't swim. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do the overland trail. So that's what I did. I joined a party and, and we went across the United States in covered wagons. Sometimes they called it schooners. And it was real hard. Sometimes we didn't have a lot of food. Sometimes people got sick. Sometimes people didn't make it. Sometimes we ran into Native Americans and they didn't like us going on their land, which I understand. But sometimes they was real helpful and they would give us food and, and help us out. And then once we finally got to California, we, some of us split off and, and I came down to Sonora, California because I heard there was some big uh, uh, gold happening here. So I came here to find my riches and look for a little spangle in the water. And uh, so sometimes people have burrows too that they help them, but I don't have a burrow. So I just got my friends and, and myself. I got a, a feller down the way, he's my friend. His name is Pequeño Pedro. Pequeño means Spanish. It's Spanish for uh, small, because Pedro, he's a small guy. He's like, a, he's about mm, four foot three. He's little, but he's mighty. Anyway, uh, poor Pedro, he's had a, a tough look. Sometimes there are people out there and they want to boondoggle you. They come and they, they salt the area of a claim and they say, oh, there's all kinds of gold here. And if you pay a premium price, you can have this here claim. So he tried and then he got boondoggled and there was no gold in there. And then some other things happened to the poor Pedro. The, some of the miners didn't like all the foreigners coming in to the mine, and so they started creating a foreign miners tax. And if you ain't from the United States, you gotta pay a foreign miners tax once a month to mine the claim. So poor Pedro, he's 
thinking about giving up. He said he might go back to San Francisco and go get some supplies and then bring them back and sell them to the miners because it seems like the only people getting rich are the people selling supplies, not really the miners. I don't know. Well, anyway, I might make myself a bit of Jamocha here and uh, have a little bit of coffee and uh, do a little bit more mining. But uh, I really wanted to thank you for coming here and, and visiting me at my, my claim. And uh, I wanted to show you. Let's see if I can find some gold. Oh, let's see here. Eureka! I got some. I got some gold. Look here. I don't know if you can see this, but here in my pan is a little bit of gold. I'll show you. Let's see. Do you see my spangles? They're floating around. They're light. Anyway, I thank you for coming to visit me and my, my claim, and I hope you enjoyed my story. You take care, and you think about what kind of gold miner nickname you like. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes.